we hit our high this morning, well, just after midnight, and we have been below zero since 3 a.m. It's been in the negative single digits all day with wind chills hovering near minus 30, and it's going to get worse overnight. Temperatures have been basically hovering right around minus 6, minus 7 almost all day long with wind chills right near minus 30. And now that the sun's starting to set, we've already started to drop minus 9 at the top of the hour. Latest wind chill minus 33 and heading downward wind chill warnings in place from 9 p.m. tonight until noon tomorrow for the entire area and the entire state. Parts of Wisconsin may see wind chills as low as minus 50 parts of our area as low as minus 45 currently negative nine clear skies. We still have west winds at 18 miles an hour, which puts the wind chill at minus 33 also creates blowing snow, especially on north south roadways we will fall to minus 13 by 10 o'clock tonight. Bitterly cold minus 23 tomorrow morning, especially right before the sun comes up. Wind chills could be right around minus 40, maybe as cold as minus 45 and then negative three for the high tomorrow. So we don't break zero tomorrow. We're not going to do that until Wednesday. Severe weather index in the high category. Wind chills as low as minus 45 with this Arctic blast and the coldest yet is coming overnight tonight. Matter of fact, my forecast for tonight is to drop to minus 23. We hit minus 21 two weeks ago. The last time we did that was almost five years ago. And then 13 years ago, we hit minus 22 on Christmas of 2000. And colder than that was minus 24 and minus 28 in February of 1996. So if we get to minus 23, that would be the coldest in 18 years and break a record. The record low for tonight is minus 21. The record low in Oshkosh, minus 22, also in Sturgeon Bay, and minus 24 in Appleton. As I was mentioning, we went below zero at 3 o'clock this morning. We should break zero again at about 11 a.m. on Wednesday, 56 hours below zero. Minus 8 right now in Appleton with a west wind at 22. Puts the wind chill at minus 33. Statewide temperatures hovering around minus 10. Wind chills hovering around minus 30. But again, these are going to drop through the overnight hours. Lake effect snow on the opposite side of the lake, just clear for us and nothing coming as there's a big area of high pressure dropping into the northern plains. So that moves south. We continue with the west winds overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow, but they will be a little bit lighter tomorrow. Then that high starts moving east and things will start to moderate a bit, especially as we head towards Wednesday. Minus three for the high tomorrow, and then 12 on Wednesday, and 20 for the high Thursday, then another little reinforcing shot of colder air, six on Friday and 16 Saturday. Overnight tonight, expecting the drop down to minus 23 in Green Bay. Some parts of our area could drop into the negative mid 20s for overnight lows. For tonight, dangerously cold. Wind chills as low as minus 45, Negative 23 for the overnight low tomorrow. Bitterly cold throughout the day, but a lot of sunshine minus three for the high and then sunny a bit warmer 12 on Wednesday 20 a little bit of light snow late Wednesday night and Thursday morning and then Friday partly cloudy and a high of six Saturday again Friday night into Saturday morning. Another shot of some light snow, but nothing terribly significant 16 for the high on Saturday 11 on Sunday 13 for the high temperature on Monday all below average. Yeah. I was just thinking what crisis would happen if the power started going out the places. Uh, Did a quick check uh, around parts of the area. Everything's okay. Good. The power grid is holding, good. but the usage has got to be way up. So. And yeah, and make sure you you know take care of your pets, take care of your neighbors, especially check in on people. Yes. All right. Good advice. Thank you.